Okay, so bill of materials on a join. Um, there was a question about adding uh, multiple bill of materials or multiple structures of bill of materials. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of ways to do that. So I've selected the item I want. You have your standards up here depending on what type you want. These can be set up individually. So your standard parts list looks like this which you will have all seen part number description item quantities what you can also do make sure I've got the right one selected you can't mix structured and parts assemblies based on views but what you can do is you can switch between these so if you have multiple um, I ways that you want to show data so you can have a total quantity stock number with your material list on again you can set this up yourself now if I wanted a parts list for an individual assembly within an assembly so for instance um, this item from within here so it's this front uh, suspension arm what I can do is add that front suspension in individually as an assembly and then create a parts list specifically for that um, you can do just parts only or structured again um, it's it's totally dependent on, on what you're happy with what that will do is it will split it down so that you have your full assembly bomb then you have your individual assembly bomb and you can break that down and down and down depending on how far down you have to go hopefully that's um, that's answered uh, that question if not please get back in touch and, and let me know I shall try and work a way around it alright thank you very much for your time cheers bye